I gave you a critical thinking challenge assignment last time, and I said that I would give you some time in class to finish working on that today, and it will be due by midnight tonight for your groups. This is again an opportunity for you to earn bonus points. So how many of you uh, have more than eight people in your group? Any group have more than eight people? How many of you all have? Twelve. You have twelve. Okay, so you have a big group. So what I want you to do in order to get everybody to participate in this one, um, for those of you who have eight or less, what I want you to do is I want you to have each member of your group present at least one of the ballast types and which restaurant and make the argument for the restaurant on the ballast type that you chose for that particular restaurant so that everybody gets an opportunity to present. Also, it gives you an opportunity to get up here and watch yourself in front of the camera and see what you're doing. So that will help you prepare for the class project, the big class project, and making sure that you are speaking loud enough that you can be heard by the camera and that you, you know, are doing crazy hand gestures like I do or whatever it is that, that you find annoying. So I want every member of the group to present at least one. The group that has 12, what you should do is you should have one person present uh, the part one of the findings, why you, why you think it will be helpful, and then an introduction, the second uh, person, another person can do an introduction on the restaurants, what you did to choose, and then uh, the final person can do a conclusion, just kind of a wrap up. So I'll give you about 15 minutes to work on that, work out your presentations, and then we'll come back and we will start with those um, at about, I'll give you until 11.20, how's that? So if it gets too loud here, you can go out in the hall and try to work out there. Just make sure you're back by 11.20. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's start. Again, I'm doing this so that you can get an idea of how you look and sound on the camera up here so everybody has to participate in this one today. So we'll start with the logical team players. <laughs> Is there any group that I didn't get up there? All right. Yep. Okay. So I chose uh, the Survivor, and I would go with the Neighborhood Jam. Okay. So it's like a uh, small breakfast joint here in Edmond. Um, their motto is that they believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And the reason I chose them as a survivor is because they're like a smaller restaurant. And uh, since they're a smaller restaurant and they haven't expanded their franchise, uh, so they use their resources wisely. And uh, from my understanding, they've been open for a few years. Okay. And that's why I chose them as a survivor. I chose to do the thinkers of the bell section, and the restaurant I chose to do was the, is a place called the Rock and Brew, which is in OKC. Uh, the reason I chose Rock and Brew is because it's mainly a historical perspective, because they play like classical rock music and stuff, and uh, which is also a traditional influence on them. They also have high resources because the founders of the company are two band members from KISS. <clears throat> and uh, which was also due to their popularity back then, they'd be financially independent. Okay. I did uh, Experiencers and I did Panera Bread. Um, they were one of the first uh, to do like delivery that wasn't inside of like the delivery area and uh, the rapid pickups, they're uh, early innovators. Um, they focus on the experience. Each scenario has a good vibe. The employees are trained to be friendly. And uh, the high quality food with the some high resources that have high quality food. Okay. <coughs> uh, I chose Believer and I chose Chick-fil-A because they have a high aspect of spirituality. They promote friendly communities and environment, and they have consistency and stability in all of our workplace. Their corporate purpose is to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted in us, and have a positive influence on all who come in contact with Chick-fil-A. And their giving philosophy is everyone's job at Chick-fil-A is to serve, no matter our title or job description. Our reason for coming to work is to generously share our time and talents. 
Whether it's treating customers like friends or serving our communities like neighbors, we believe kindness is a higher calling. Okay. Did you all do the others? The other four? What was your answer to the first question? Part one. Okay, make sure you get that answer in your Dropbox. Okay, very good. Good job. Everybody's good at this. Survivors, you might want to like put an ad on a bus station or something. And uh, <coughs> we'll go into the 
Okay, so for innovators, we chose to do a restaurant called Flint, which I have never been to, but it is made in 2017, so it's very new, um, so it's future-oriented. Um, I haven't really heard of any advertisements for it, so um, that's um, also going along the lines with them. And then for experiencers, we did All About Chef which they are very visual, and at All About you, they make really cute drinks. It's very much like Instagram-worthy kind of stuff. And then um, it's also a very social environment. You just kind of sit there, and it's more of that type of a thing. It also goes along the lines with the latest fashion. It's a new trend kind of thing. So for Believers, we did Chick-fil-A because it's very built around Christian values. And then for thinkers, we did Calvin Steakhouse because thinkers have very high resources and it's very expensive. And it's also very, very historically perspective because it's the oldest continually operated restaurant in Oklahoma. It's been in business since 1910. Okay, and so for achievers, we went with mahogany because achievers have high resource and they put money over everything and it's often professionals like drug rep dinners and doctors and business professionals go there to eat and most meals are over $67 just per person. And then for um, <coughs> we that goes with um, believing in strong gender roles. So one of the first ones that came to mind for the gender roles part is Hooters because it's very exposed and it's women serving typically men because that's their target like market for who goes there. First drivers, we chose Cubbies and Joe. It's a little coffee house with cupcakes and on 23rd Street in the city. It's not very fancy, it's comfy, casual, lots of hipsters go there. Not very many people with high incomes usually hang out there, but it's a social place just for hanging out. And then for survi survivors, the first thing that came to my mind was pickles, which I went there accidentally with my friend once, and we were the youngest ones there for by probably 40 years. Uh, people that go there, it seems, are go there all the time, and that's their restaurant, and it's not expensive at all. Ten dollars total on drink and meal and appetizer, you know, like it's just a place to go that you've been going to for many years. So that was a perfect one. Okay, where did you come up with? I didn't hear what you said for innovators and experiences. I didn't know what was innovators and experiences was Megan with the Flint and all about chop. All about what? Chop. It's a uh, coffee shop. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. Great. Good job. L5. You guys got really lucky. I did 
the leaders, and I didn't check the lane like a lot of people seem to have done already now. <laughs> but um, kind of what they're going on, like, they, you know, focus highly on religious, you know, closed on Sundays, they're very nice to have that whole sort of feel for religion. So if he's not going to put you on the spot, because that's the way it's going to work. Well, so everybody else has chosen Chick-fil-A for believers as well. What are they going to? What are the believers going to do on Sunday when they want to go out after church for uh, for lunch? Because Chick-fil-A is not going to be an option for them. That is true. You always crave it on Sunday. Yeah. Um. Gonna, uh, they will have to find somewhere else. Which which is off the top of your head? What would you think it would be? Um. Golden Corral. They could cook. They could cook. <laughs> I love the idea. KFC, maybe? I don't know. Okay. All right, that was unfair, but <laughs> that kind of happens. Life's unfair. Right. Um, I think survivors, and it was uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, just because many of the items are anything special, like Chick-fil-A, Buffalo Wild Wings, and it's just like the Thank you. 
forgive us for the delay in speaking, but um, our first question, uh, the answer that we chose was an entrepreneur can benefit by targeting the niche group to advertise to, which gives them the upper hand against competitors and showcase their differences using social media and advertising and use, using utilizing the vows to create customer lifetime value. Um, so I chose innovators for my uh, vows and we, uh, the restaurant that I chose was Cultivar, which is uh, kind of a hip uh, Mexican restaurant, kind of like a fancy keto, but basically um, it's located in Automobile Alley in downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, there are a lot of options that you can choose from. Um, they express that most of the food they get is from farm to table, so it's very uh, select in what they choose. So it's very innovative features, I guess. All right, for strivers, uh, strivers are low resource, but they're also a little like hip. They wear their wealth. Uh, we chose Empire Slice House. Uh, it's not too expensive. You don't have to buy a whole pizza. You can get pizza by the slice. Um, it's also very visually appealing. They've got posters all over the wall, and just appealing to a younger, poorer, but still have crowd. So we chose uh, Bakers for Bennies, and it's older, plenty, and high normative and more structured. So it's like easy to pick, you know. We chose what for the Bakers? Uh, no, Thinkers. Thinkers, Thinkers. Okay. I'm sorry, Thinkers is what? Bennies? <coughs> okay. I have makers, they're all about their rights and outdoors. Pick the For You Cafe down at H&H &H Shoot Sports. Uh, inside of your gun range, I mean, you can't really get any more. Protect what you right in the gun range. All right, that's a good observation. Okay, um, for experiences, we did Body Champion. And that's kind of a place that a lot of people are familiar with when it comes to like a unique experience. And if you're wanting something that's like an experience, like it's like something simple as like waffles and chicken, but they the way it's made, I don't know like how it's made, but they do it, it's like a really unique taste and it's like the best waffles and chicken that I've ever had. And they also have like cool stuff, like they have a um, polar cameras, well one polar camera, they have a wall and you take pictures and it's like a really good restaurant to have a good experience. And also that trip that is the fun. For the survivors, we chose a soup kitchen. Uh, so, so the soup kitchen provides a free uh, food for the homeless people. So uh, it has a very low resources and uh, it's always located in the lower income neighborhoods and uh, staffed by the volunteer and organizations. Uh, and the soup kitchen sometimes offers the food from the food bank for free or the lowest price. Uh, Cause they consider a charity, so they make it easier to provide more food for them. Okay, I think that's a really interesting choice. I think that you know, I mean, a lot of people choose McDonald's for this, and I've done this in the past. So I think that's a, that, I've never had anybody come up with a decision. Good job. So I did Dior and Bell and Chicken. Uh, Dior is a selling chicken with a set of cups. And this is translated order. Consistently, my business choose based on this person belief. And turn a camera. And if you go look at their menu, the appetizers are about ranging around $20. And if you go to the steaks, it's about 40 to 60 sides, $10. So you're eating very high end. Go to, uh, if you go to their website, first thing is just what pride eating. So it's just like quality food for quality ideas. So create the environment you want to find out if you want to create quality ideas. That's right. I think that's right. And it's all a la carte. Their menu is all a la carte. I mean, like everything is. Thank you. 
experiencers, they're very sociable, so it sounds like they've been busters would be a great fit for them. They love physical activity and new things, which the arcade part of the restaurant will keep them entertained while being sociable with friends. It's a bit pricey, but experiencers love to spend money on whatever will entertain them. That would make sense. I think that's right. It is it is expensive, but it is fun. I mean, you've got a lot of different things that you can do. So I had achievers, and I said that Golden Crow because they have a variety of resources within their selections, from like a food to Chinese to like a huge dessert buffet. Um, they're really consistently busy and hardworking, having lots of people come in. And their slogan is like "Help yourself to happiness," and that kind of goes with the idea of like me first within the achievers. Okay. Uh, I had Innovators, and I chose Every Table, which is a restaurant chain in Los Angeles. And I chose it because uh, they set their prices to the mean the income of like whatever neighborhood they're in, trying to be like more innovative like the future, so they can like, keep expanding and growing. And then uh, it's also like a really healthy restaurant, so they're worried about like the future and like trying to change the ways and make it better for everyone. How did you know about that restaurant? Uh, I looked it up on you looked it up on the app. So it's not something that you've experienced yourself. No. Okay. All right. I like that. Uh, so I have thinkers and makers. For thinkers, I'm with Calvin Steakhouse uh, because it appeals to their high resources and their preference for a uh, home style atmosphere and a mature environment. Uh, for the makers, I went with the garage because uh, cheaper foods there satisfy their lower <coughs> resources. Uh, also, the garage can appeal to them because of the automotive decor that makers like and the straightforward, non-fancy atmosphere that also appeals to them. Uh, I believers and like most groups that chose to employ, uh, they're very focused on the community and believe on their, who they are, who we are page. They talk about this specifically. Uh, they're trying to do more than just sell chicken, so they're trying to get like, be a part of the customer's lives in their communities. And they're closed on Sundays so that uh, their employees can set aside a date I had a survivors and strivers. For survivors, I picked a little Chinese restaurant called Snow Pea near Nichols Hills. It's, not, it's like a non-franchise, just a little standalone restaurant. And uh, they're very thrifty with everything. Like their menu is still like old school, like put each letter up one by one, so they haven't put the money into that. They don't use an iPad to swipe your credit card. They still have the little block, you know, but it's not very tuned. Yeah. They, uh, they still use the old fashioned like the time, no, no, not the oh, slider, okay. no, no, not the right. copy, just like a little, it's just, you know, they have not, no too big improvements. Those are styrofoam cups, no brand, they have a, <coughs> a green snow pea sign. No okay. too, so it's real basic. And for strivers, I picked a McDonald's one because it's a big temporary job, people in and out all the time. Uh, another thing about it is uh, there's heavy public transportation all the time. That's, McDonald's drive through is probably one of the busiest places all day, every day. And then another thing is they're imitative, so they're trying to might try to look like someone else. And one one thing we heard is how they're trying to be more like Starbucks with their mint cafe look and their breakfast and their coffee. So they're also trying to be like someone else at the same time. Okay. What did you all put for the first question? Uh, we kind of started it, but we had finished it. it was a lot like one of the first groups said. So like with the information that you get through the bow survey. Uh, you can conduct strategic planning, uh, competitive positioning, and appropriate community, uh, consumer communications. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Last bit. Um, 
they're not they're not afraid to experiment, new technology, <coughs> science driven, and there's no advertising. The, like, the reason I know about them is because I walked past them. So I thought they were very good for innovators. What was it called? A magical breath. Magical. Because it makes you when you put the cereal in your mouth and blow smoke. Yeah. Oh. From the nitrogen. All right. Okay, so I had thinker, and I pick items because of the historical perspective. They don't care about what's new and what everybody wants now. It's established, and they're proven because people can go back for it. Okay. And they're white bread. That's all they serve is chicken, white bread, and okra. <laughs> and pickles. And pickles. Okay. Um, believer, we also pick Chick-fil-A. Um, it's no secret that Chick-fil-A is spiritual. Um, they're extremely friendly and they're consistent all the, all the way around from the level of service you're going to get to them being closed every Sunday. It's always the same with them, consistency, full Okay. For Achiever, pick uh, Boulevard because it's expensive and money obligatory. Uh, it's pretty professional and you're asked to dress to impress. Okay. Good job on that. Drivers we put because they have for quality employment, people are coming in now, and they have a desire to become better. They're trying to compete with Starbucks and other restaurants, so they're putting new items on their menus. They're imitated in the way that they still have their old Big Mac and Quarter Pounder, like always. Okay. I did experiencers. Uh, experiencers are sociable, spontaneous, they believe friends are important. They appeal to visual stimulation, so I chose fuzzies because everything from their sign to inside of it is just completely stimulating. There's a lot of light. The colors are very bright. There's a lot going on. You go there to celebrate your 21st birthday. You go there for the game. Like There's a lot going on. It would definitely be a turnoff for an old generation like the survivors. So it's for more of our generation, which is what we are experiencing. Okay. Makers we put Twin Peaks because of the shark and girls. They're not shy about they want to melt the crowd and come in. And they'll have themes for outdoor, outdoor themes for bringing that type of customer. For survivors, we did parries and we did them because they're really cheap. Um, they have, every time I go in there, there's really old people, like every time. We're always the youngest ones in there. Did somebody else pick that as well? I think they did. Yeah, it was. Sorry. No, um, yeah. And, yeah, they're just not trendy, really old school. And you can get a cheap meal there. Okay, and what's your first answer? Uh, we started it by saying you can use it to get more of an insight into your target group so you can learn more about their lifestyle, what they like, what appeals to them, and it'll help you learn a little bit more about them so that you can build your marketing and advertising around what will appeal and be most effect, uh, efficient to getting to them. Okay, very good. Good job. The Easy Goers. Survivors. I chose Golden 
drought as I, for some reason, love golden drought. And every time I go there, yourself there, yeah, I was reading it and I was just, I was surviving like this, but <laughs> um, other than that,
Um, for believers, we also pick Chick-fil-A because it's a faith-based and family-friendly place, and they're very open about their faith. They even close on Sundays so their employees can be able to attend church and have a day of rest. Um, the staff is always very happy to serve, um, they good name. They always say my pleasure because they're serving the customers. Credit for experiences. Um, I had Waffle Champion because French restaurants um, are kind of related to the the restaurant industry. You can see that a lot of them open up lately. Um, also, Waffle Champion, just the layout and design of it is uh, very visual, like visually pleasing. Um, I mean, it's very modern and hip, and everyone is taking a picture by the wall around the corner that says the olive waffles. And um, also, the waffles themselves are also really visual pleasing, like the way they present them and make them. Um, you always see them go there, they always post on Snapchat what waffle they got. And when you go to Waffle Champion, you go just to socialize with your friends. Um, experiences are really big on that. And just because it's obviously the latest trend, I mean, I'm pretty involved in Waffle Champion. So. Uh, I have Makers, and I chose Rudy's Country Store Barbecue. Um, they serve home style barbecue. They have a lot of southern decor, uh, like old farm equipment, uh, checker tablecloths, stuff like that. Um, which mainly appeals to the typical gun-loving conservative. Um, large portions, uh, like old country-style sides, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, brisket, stuff like that, mainly appeals to the southern folk. Okay, I had a cheaper, and I did this kitchen, because I do believe that money equals authority, but it also says that they have really busy schedules. So they're going to want something quick, but they're not going to want to go to just a typical fast food like McDonald's or something like low end. So Zoe's Kitchen is like kind of more like a high end, but you can still get it quick. Um, and then it also says that they're peer conscious. And anytime I've ever been there, it's never been overly crowded, and it's all pretty just like chill people that are there. So it's not going to be like overly bad. But, um, and then they're also high resource, and right on the front of their website, it says Fresh Starts Here. And it's like Mediterranean fresh style food. So. Okay, and I chose Strivers. Um, and I chose Waterburger just because like they're like lower price, so it goes kind of with Strivers like tendency <coughs> and everything. And like it's kind of just like a chill place, and they're open pretty late, so it's something that like if you're going out and then if you want to go out to eat, you can go with your friends and just hang out there and play talk.
subscribers, I think Buffalo Wild Wings is a place where you can just sit around with your friends and enjoy reasonable price food and drinks. There's TV everywhere, or you can just play like the arcade games. Okay. Okay, I did Makers, and uh, for Makers, I chose uh, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is really outdoors, and it falls under the category of Makers because when you go to Texas Roadhouse, you see Texas things like you see a cattle display everywhere. Um, Longhorn and stuff like that. You see rope everywhere, so it gives you like a, a visual like what, what they're about, and it to me falls under the um, makers category. And it says that kind of intellectual, like it's not like, really high intelligent compared to all garden setting and stuff. Because when you walk into a outback outback restaurant, their their uh, attire is basically just shirts and just jeans. Nothing really fancy or anything like that. And it goes to look uh, to their um, food. Like they don't really have they just have to send like fries, burger steaks and stuff like that. Nothing really exotic, so it's like any burger joint. So I believe they're just on the category of makers. Okay. Uh, for the burritos I chose in an in and out burger is a fast food. Uh, they serve the same thing <coughs> Uh, so I have two. <clears throat> My first one is achievers. Uh, when I think of an achiever, I think of someone who's busy, someone who's always on the ball, um, someone who's high energy because you know they have a schedule and they need to get stuff done. So the place that I chose was Bravo. It's this Italian restaurant. <clears throat> and the reason I think it fits that so well is because one of the things they do is they have an open kitchen and it's kind of seen as more of like a theater experience where you can watch but everything's so high energy. So I feel like if you have an achiever, someone who's wanting you know, to be quick, they would appreciate that and see, hey, you know, they're really trying hard to serve us. You know, they're back there going fast, high energy, as well as the quality of the product is very fresh, um, expensive food. So it would, it would go for that type of person. Uh, the second one I picked was Survivors. Um, I picked Brahms. And uh, a big reason I did that is my sister used to order Bronx. And she said the main audience that came in there was older people who were really cheap. So, and they, and they were regulars too, which is another uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, so regulars, they're loyal. Survivors are loyal. Sorry, I went blank there for a second. So, survivors are loyal. And, you know, since they're coming in every morning, they get breakfast every morning, and they were always trying to make deals, you know, trying to get their food comp, say, hey, you know, this wasn't cooked all the way, this and that, probably because, you know, maybe they didn't have very much money, they're running out of their retirement money, so that's why I paid survivors for that. I had innovators, and these are skeptical people and are very future-oriented, so I picked Domino's because when Domino's is advertising their pizza, they're taking pictures of it coming straight out of the oven so that people won't be like skeptical of what they're consuming. And also, when you go to their website and you place an order on Domino's, it's going to show you how your pizza is being processed all the way up from when you place your order to when it's delivered at your house. So, Okay. All right. I like, I, that is not what I would have chosen, but you made a good argument. So I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. I would not have chosen that. I thought it was for All right. Very good. Good job. We still have a few minutes. You need to work in your groups to kind of finish this out. If you have until midnight tonight, just run those in. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Good job. So.